So I'm starting by splitting my hair into four sections. I'm going to split the right side off and then I'm going to split the left side into two sections. After that I'm going to distribute the styling lotion all throughout that section of hair. Once the styling lotion is all spread through the section I'm going to twist it up and move on to the next section. Um, you'll see me at the end of the clip twisting um, the section and then pinning the back section to the front and the front section to the back. I thought this would help with um, drying and my drying times so would be 10 times faster but you'll see when I come back on the camera that my hair is actually out of the twist because it dried way faster just alone. So I sat under the dryer for about 15-20 minutes um, and like I said before I took my hair out of the twist because it dried way faster that way. Um, now you're going to see me split the sections back off again and I'm going to brush through my hair to get all of the tangles and knots. Um, when I'm finished it's kind of going to kind of look like a blowout um, and that was my goal. I wanted my hair to be 100% dry before I started the twist. Um, this is actually my first time doing a perm rod set so um, it was a bit of trial and error. Um, I think next time I'll just directly blow through my hair. It'll be a lot smoother and a lot more even and it will save me a lot of time. I think I wasted a lot of time by just sitting in the dryer. I could have just directly took my blow dryer and um, blown through my hair. So once the section was all blown out, I just twisted it up and brushed through the next section until I got through my whole head. Um, I don't have a clip of my whole head brushed through, so I'm just going to start with um, showing you guys the perm rods. So I'm just going to brush through this section and I'm going to make sure all the tangles are out, make sure it's smooth. Um, and then I'm going to apply my leave-in. I'm using the Jamaican Black Castor Oil um, Leave-In Conditioner. And this is very smooth and lightweight. You don't want to use too much because you don't want the section to be wet again. I think that was also part of my problem. I used too much product um, in each section. But lessons learned. After the um, leave-in has been applied, I go in with my Wonder Curls get set hair jelly and I apply that directly towards the ends and then I work my way up the shaft of my hair. After all of the product is smooth through the section, I split it and begin to two strand twist. I just twist about three or four times, probably four or five times actually, and then I smooth the rest of the section down and begin to use a perm rod. So you see me smoothing the section of hair, smoothing it back together, and then um, you're going to see me add the perm rod on the end. I thought this would be super easy when I went to take the hair down and separate the curls. It did help, but I also think it caused the bulkiness of the twist because the hair wasn't smooth and wrapped around the perm rod. It was kind of wrapped around itself. So I'm going to go and um, wrap the hair up a little bit and then twist. And then I wrap the hair up a little bit and then twist until I reach my scalp. Once I reach my scalp, I tightly um, secure the perm rod and clip the little lever over. I accidentally clipped another perm rod to the section of hair, so I just went back through and reclamped it by itself. So here I just have two super loose perm rods. I'm going to unclip them and retwist them up. Um, I noticed that was a lot of my problem. A lot of my perm rods were super loose. And again, I think it also has to do with how I wrap them around. Next time I'm going to try to make sure the hair is super smooth and laying flat before I wrap it around the perm rod. So this is what my hair looks like when it's all finished. All of the rollers are in. I used about two and a half packs. I'm going to add my satin bonnet and I'm going to head to bed. I didn't end up using um, any additional drying time. I just slept and left them in for about uh, a day and a half or so. I'm going to use my coconut oil. Um, I'm going to apply this to my hands before I start to take down the twist. Now these back sections are super loose because I started to take them down um, before I recorded this clip. I was kind of frustrated when I started to take them down and I wasn't going to finish the video but I felt like this was the perfect way to show you guys that not every time you try to do your hair um, it comes out perfectly. 
I know people post YouTube videos all the time and their hair is so perfect and the curls are just on point. Um, but sometimes you fail and you have to try to figure out how to fix it or make it work. Um, in the end, I was super satisfied with how the hair turned out. Um, but I just had to play with my hair a little bit. And again, this is my first time. So it's about trial and error and learning, you know, what works for you, what products work for you. So I just finished taking all of the perm rods out. And I was actually kind of feeling how my hair looked. It was soft. It was fluffy. Um, and But there was still a slight curl to it. So I just started to um, separate each curl. And it really benefited having the little bit of um, twist at the end. Because it made it super easy to separate. Um, and I didn't have much frizz as well so I just go in and I separate each um, curl and untwist it at the root my roots were super flat too which I liked I don't like the puffy you know bulky roots so it came out really really well and it blended naturally and nicely um, once all of the twists were taken down I will go through and fluff my hair I couldn't find my pick so I just used um, a little comb that I had and fluffed it out This is what the back looks like, and I am super, super pleased. It's nice and full and fluffy. And these are my end results. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I hope you guys enjoyed and will tune in for my next video.